It's just that the whole world is telling you to go against God, to uh, live a life of sin. Uh, one thing is, uh, of course, um, the world is telling you that a, made, a big objective that you should try to do is to um, not be abstinent until you get married, which is a thing. And there's also drug use um, and many other things that pressure kids to get away from the Lord when they should be getting closer at the Lord of this age. Like. Especially between the girls and the boys, like some of the non-Christians are all over each other and it's just like really bad for like junior high especially. When everyone else is telling you, you know, that your beliefs are wrong, that um, the, hard thing, the hardest thing is to continually uh, reaffirm your belief. The people don't really care about your religion and they care about who you are like on the outside and they don't care like who you really are. Uh, they have friends that are pregnant. They, are, they have friends that are strung out on drugs. They got, they got friends that are drunk. You know, they got friends uh, or uh, they know people who, who get abused. And, uh, but, but what uh, blows my mind is that they constantly come up every week and they say, hey, Scott, I want you to pray for my buddy. I remember growing up in the church, I was one of those bratty church kids, and I remember just being bored out of my socks. And then this youth pastor came, and he was crazy. And I thought, wow, you mean God can use, a sense, use people with a sense of humor? <laughs> yes, you know? I love to see uh, junior hires coming into the room and their eyes are so wide open, you know, like, wow, this, this is church. It makes church seem exciting and fun and not boring. It's like nobody really makes fun of each other. Nobody, nobody does anything to each other. Everything's friendly and everything's nice. Like, I can talk to them about anything. They'll totally understand. They'll help me. They'll pray with me. And it's encouraging and makes you feel better. If a, if a junior hire shows up on a Wednesday night and, and we're playing games and dodgeball and, 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 and all this fun stuff and then the next thing they know and they're down on their knees praying before God and they don't even know how it happened. I love being able to teach them what God has taught me and then getting to pray with them is, is just like the icing on top of the cake. It's, 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 it's the most closest intimate moments that, that I feel with them and, and I've, I've just, I can just think of you know, specific students, specific prayer requests, I, I, I remember them. My philosophy in ministry is uh, just show how awesome Jesus Christ is. You know, I could spend my whole life saying, hey, don't do drugs, you know, don't, don't do this, you know, don't have sex before marriage. But the most important thing is show them who Jesus is and then let Jesus do the rest. I um, respect my parents more because I got the Lord in my life. Like I really look up to all of them, especially in the living room. Um, they really like touched me because that was the time in my life when I really started to get to know God and like they were the ones that really pushed it on me, you know, to get to know God better. Before I didn't care about church. I never told them. I pretended I wasn't really a Christian. Now I'm proud of it. I tell my friends and everything. And they think it's exciting too. I've learned to pray a lot. And with prayer, like, things change. I mean, you can handle anything if you have the Lord. I'm sure now that I'm going to go to heaven versus what I was, where I even doubted the existence of heaven. So hey 
if you're out there and uh, you're sitting in those pews and you're like, uh, I'm a junior hire and uh, you never came or you come, a, you, you came a long time ago, hey, you got to come to junior high. You're missing out if you don't come to junior high. You're missing out if you don't come to junior high. Parents, you guys, make sure your kids go to junior high, go to youth group because it's fun and exciting and, uh, and they'll have a good time.